Welcome back. This is part two of chapter one, and I'm on the bottom of page 117. We stopped at number seven. Number seven says click the selection tool. So right here is your selection tool. Point to the center of the document window, then press and hold control space bar on your keyboard. So control space bar. So here's my, I've got my selection tool, press and hold control space bar, and that takes me to the zoom tool. So it says click three times, one, two, three, and it's okay if yours is zoomed in a little bit differently than mine. And then let go. Press and hold the space bar to access the hand tool and scroll around. So you can scroll up, scroll down, you can go to different pages. There you go. All right, I'm turning the page, guys. We are over on page 118, number 10. Press and hold control alt space bar and then click the mouse button multiple times to reduce the view to 25%. So on the keyboard, I'm going to hold down control alt space bar and I'm going to zoom out until I'm at 25%. You can look right here at your percentage to make sure that you're going all the way to 25%. So you can see here's my, this entire thing is my indiv, um, InDesign document. And in my InDesign document, I have individual pages. These are layouts. These are individual pages. So I have several pages here in my InDesign document. All right, number one says click view on the menu bar. Note the shortcut key on the fit page and window command and then click fit page and window. So fit page and window, here's the shortcut key, it's control plus O. And we're going to go ahead and click it and you can see that the pages fit into the window. Click view on the menu bar. And then note the rulers command and its shortcut key. So here's hide rulers. My rulers are showing right now. It's control R. And then if I went back to view and went to rulers, I would hit control R to show the rulers. Click the pasteboard to escape the view menu. So here's your pasteboard. We're just going to click it. Then press Control R several times to hide and show your rulers. So I'm going to hit Control R, hide and show. Okay. Note the units on the rulers. Depending on your preferences that you have set, your rulers might be showing inches or another type of measurement. So I'm going to hit Control R, and you can see that um, these are your measurements. Click edit. On the menu bar, point to preferences. And then go to units and increments. In the ruler section, click the horizontal list arrow to see the available measurements. You can see mine are in inches. Set your horizontal and vertical fields to PICA so that your design box resembles figure 20. So we're going to go to PICAs and then vertical, same thing, PICAs. Okay. The horizontal and vertical rulers change to PICA measurements. PICAs are a unit of measurement of measures used to used in in design layout. It was long before computerized um, layouts that we started using PICAs. The PICA is equal to one sixth of an inch. It's important you understand that the unit of measure you set in the preferences dialog box is a global choice. It will affect all measurement utilities in the application, such as those in transform panel and the ruler increments, all kinds of different things. So go back and reopen. So if you hit okay, 
it'll change. And now we're going to go back and reopen it. So you're going to go back to Edit and then Preferences. And we're going to go back to Units and Increments. It's really important that you keep these as inches. As inches. And then hit OK. All right, turning the page. We're getting through this really quickly. Number two at the top of page 120 it says click the pasteboard to escape the view menu, which we already have. And then press Control H several times to toggle between hiding and showing the frame edges of your artboard. So we're going to hit Control H. And you can see that in design, each element on here has a different frame. This is a text box. This is a text box. This is probably Photoshop image. This is probably done in InDesign. But I'm going to click Control H again. They're all hidden. And then Control H, all of these objects have frames, just like your objects have frames in, in um, Illustrator. In design is similar in that way, which is different than Photoshop. Very different than Photoshop. Okay, so our frames are showing right now. Click View on the menu bar. Point to Grids and Guides. Then note the Show Hide Guides command and its shortcut key. Okay, so there's lots of different shortcut keys you can use here. But for the most part, what we're going to be doing whenever you need to look at something, look at a different view position or a different way of seeing your document, you know you need to go to view. I'm going to skip forward so that we don't have to toggle between everything. And I'm going back, I'm skipping forward to page 121. And on page 121, I'm going to click the, the artboard to get rid of the view commands. We're going to go back to click view on the menu bar and then point to screen mode. So we're going to go down to screen mode, and then where it says preview, we're going to click on preview. All guides and frame edges are hidden, and the pasteboard is now gray. The menu bar and panels remain visible. Press W on your keyboard several times to toggle between preview and normal mode. You're actually going to hit, let's see, we're going to hit shift W, okay? Hit Shift W and you can toggle between preview mode, normal mode, finishing mode, and I think that's it. Let's see, here's your different modes. If we go back to screen mode, okay, you have presentation. These are all the different ones. Okay, so click view on the menu bar uh, again and then go to screen mode and we're going to go down to presentation. That's your presentation mode. Press the down key on your keyboard and we're going to go through the different pages. Go Click the up key on your keyboard and you can go back up through the different pages of your document. Okay, well, we're going to hit escape on your keyboard and that'll take us back to our normal um, editing view or presentation mode. And then we're going to skip over to number one on the bottom of page 121, and it says click Edit. On the menu bar, point to Preferences, and then go to Interface. Click the Open Document as Tabs checkbox. Probably in your case, it's already checked, and you can see mine's checked. And then hit OK. And we're going to save this. Sorry, you're going to go to Save As, and you're going to save this document as Dessert Menu. And hit Save. 
Okay, so just like Adobe Photoshop and Adobe Illustrator, you guys know that you can have several different documents in here with open tabs. I can go through and reopen some more documents if I wanted to. Okay, so I'm over on page 123, and basically 123 is just showing you how you can take the tabs of your individual documents and you can undock them. So if I had four different um, objects open, I could take it and undock it so that I had individual um, pages, or you can continue to dock it, just like what we've done before where you have individual tabs. Forward to page 126. And we will start page 126 with a new video. Um, and this one, as you guys probably heard, the bell rang and I need to go to class. So um, I will see you on video three for chapter one.